All right, we're going to be discussing uh, variations of conditional statements and taking a look at how they relate uh, to each other. So we're going to be seeing uh, this uh, statement right here. If it rained today, then the streets are wet. And uh, here is our P. And here is our Q. And uh, we have some variations of how these things are put together. So uh, let's just, by the way, see how this P and Q are put together. Okay. So uh, it's not working. Here we go. Here's P and here's Q. And true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Now we learned uh, earlier with a variation of the conditional that the only way a conditional statement can be false is if the condition is met and the promise is not kept. So this part is false and all the rest of these parts are true. Okay. Uh, and so what we want to understand is that this is actually called right here, this is called the positive form. Okay. Here's our positive form of the conditional. If it rained today, then the uh, streets are wet. And uh, now we're going to uh, look at another way we could arrange this. Suppose I said um, if uh, Q then P, and that would be uh, if the streets are wet, streets are wet, then it rained today. Now, I'm going to ask you, uh, does this mean the same thing as this? If the streets are wet, then it rained today, is that the same as saying if it rained today? Uh, then the streets are wet. Uh, and uh, you need to be uh, quite careful because uh, this is sneaky. This is sneaky, right? Uh, so let's just see. Well, if true, then true is true. If true, then false is false. If false, then true is true. Why? Because no condition was met, and so uh, a person could do whatever uh, like, or whatever happens will happen. If false, then false is true. This form right here is called the converse form, okay? And all the converse form does is switch the positions. Uh, and it doesn't mean the same thing. Okay. Well, about half the time you have the same thing, but notice what's going on in here. These values are interchanged. Um, so uh, the converse and the positive form are not equivalent. Two statements are only equivalent if they have exactly the same truth value. And these do not have exactly the same truth value. Well then, how about this statement, okay? So we're going to say, uh, well, if it didn't rain today, then the streets are not wet, okay? Well, of course, you can see that this is not P, and this is not Q. And so we can ask ourselves, well, what is this? You know, uh, is this the same thing as this? Does it mean this? So am I saying if it didn't rain today, then the streets aren't wet? Well, I could actually take a look uh, over here. Here is where it rained today, and here is where it didn't rain today, and here's where it didn't rain today, are the streets wet? Well, 
possible the streets could be anywhere, and it's possible they aren't, and both statements would be true. So, obviously, um, that, that's not quite the case. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and, and parse this out as a uh, truth uh, in, the, in the truth table. If it didn't rain uh, today, then the streets are not wet. So we're looking at if not P, then not Q. So we have to consider a couple things here, all right? We'll sort of slip them in here. Here's not P. We're going to put in not P at the moment. And that's going to be false, false, true, true. Okay? And not Q. Not Q would be false, true, false, true. So let's go ahead and uh, fill in those pieces. Well, if false and false is true, if false and true is true, how do I know that? Well, I know if false and false is true, if false and true is true, okay? How about if true then false? Well, that's always false. The condition was met, the promise was not kept, so that's false. How about if true then true? That's true, okay? Well, guess what? Look at this. Can you see that this form means the same as that form? This form right here is called the inverse, okay? That's called the inverse. And with the inverse, the inverse has exactly the same truth values, truth, uh, truth statements, as the converse. And can you see that these two forms are equivalent? So let's put this, uh, these values right here. Uh, true, true, false, true, 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 false, true, right there. Well, there is one more form that we need to talk about, and it's called the contrapositive, contrapositive, okay? And uh, it goes like this. If not Q, then not P. Okay. If not Q, then not P. Now, if not Q, then not P would be if uh, false, then false. If not Q, then not P would be if true, then false. If not Q, then not P would be if false, then true. And if not Q, then not P would be if true, then true. Now let's see, if false, then false is true. Get that from here. If true, then false is false. If false, then true is true. And if true, then true is true. Well, can you see what our results are right here? This is exactly the same thing as the positive form. The contrapositive and the positive forms are equivalent because they have exactly the same truth values. So, these are variations of the conditional. The converse and the inverse do not mean the same thing as the positive form. Occasionally, when we're working with rules of logic and talking about argument, we have to form some of these statements. So if I'm trying to find uh, out whether a, a conditional statement, like uh, if the sum of the numbers is even, uh, then the numbers are even, uh, I could form a contrapositive statement and solve it that way. And as, as long as I solve the contrapositive, then I have solved the positive form because both of those are equivalent. Similarly, if I'm looking at converse or inverse, I can do it, I can do those. 
So these statements are equivalent and these statements are equivalent and that deals with our variations of the conditional.